Joining us to talk all things taters is nutritionist and licensed dietitian, Carrie Glassman. Always great to see you, Carrie. So good to see you as well. Always well, love being on the Welcome doctor. back. So, Carrie, why, why do poor potatoes get such a bad rap? <laughs> You're correct. Poor potatoes. Why do we beat up on those potatoes so much? But we do. I think one of the reasons that potatoes have gotten such a bad rap is it really all started in that low carb and no carb diet trend. People associated potatoes with things like white bread and white pasta, those refined processed grains. But I always like to remind people that potatoes are a whole real food. And even though they may have more carbs than broccoli or other vegetables, one, carbohydrates we need. Carbohydrates play a very big role in our nutrition. And they're also loaded with nutrients like broccoli and other vegetables. And the other reason I think that potatoes have gotten a bad rap is most people eat them in an unhealthy form like french fries or mashed creamy potatoes, but they can be made really healthy too. Now that we know that they can be good for us, can you show us some new ways we can use them? Okay, so the country that brought us oat milk is also bringing us something called potato milk. And this country is Sweden. And the manufacturers of potato milk claim that potato milk is much more environmentally friendly than other non-dairy milks like almond milk because it takes less water to produce this crop. So it's becoming popular, but you can also make it at home. Is it time to try my potato milk? Yeah, give goes. it a try. I want to see what you think. It's good. I can't, I can't tell. It's, I couldn't it's tell. It's sort from of like a potato there, smoothie. Were, right? A little bit. Tell us how you make it. Is this the natural sweetness from the potato? Okay, so it's really easy to make at home. So all you do is take about a cup and a half of raw peeled potatoes. Then you add about three and a half cups of water. You boil that for about 15 minutes. And then you add that to a blender. And then you add a about two tablespoons of honey. If you want it sweet, you can add a little more. You can add a little bit less. A little bit of vanilla extract if you want that vanilla flavor. Then a little bit of salt, too, which I have right here. You blend it up, and then you strain it through a cheesecloth, and you end up with your potato milk. So it's really easy to make. I and know remember, our producer made are... this batch this morning. I think it does have a little bit of honey in it and a little bit of vanilla. I think that's why it's so yummy. I like it. And potatoes are so packed with nutrients. They have resistant starch, and they have vitamins uh, C and minerals, magnesium and potassium, and they have fiber. So we, we got to change the reputation here of the potato. <laughs> and quickly. You have a way for us to use the most beneficial part of the potato. We're talking the skins. Exactly. So most of the fiber in the potato is found in the skin. And right here, I have some of the potato skin. So when I peel those potatoes to make the milk, I saved the scraps, so we're not wasting food, and we're saving the part of the potato that is the most packed of nutrients. Drizzle a little All olive right, oil. All right, so I have some skins here. Salt. I see I didn't get any sour cream or yeah. cheese with it. but it's No a sour cream or cheese, but they're so easy to make. You throw them in the air fryer, 400 for about five minutes, and you're good. Or, like right here, I just used a pan today, a tray, um, and threw it in the oven because I don't have an air fryer here. So, so easy to make, delicious, and packed with nutrition. These are great. I can see oh, substituting so, so these good. when I'm watching the ball game instead of chips with all that oil. Exactly. And, and you're not wasting any part of the potato. They're packed with the fiber. You're getting all that delicious, all those other nutrients in, and it's packed again with that delicious. I love these. So you're satisfying that salty, that salty, crunchy craving. Just that little bit of salt makes such a big difference and a little crunchy. I love the texture. Listen, great tips. Thanks, Carrie. Hopefully we change some of those tater haters minds today, right? <laughs> yes, exactly. Down Don't with the hate tater on haters. the tater. <laughs>